What's up, Firefly fam? Now, some of you may have noticed that Firefly has just updated their bag policy. Oh no, you must be thinking. Does my old equipment still work? What do you mean, clear bag policy? What's going on? Guys, I want to tell you right now that it's not as bad as you think. I've spent the last year trying out every single bag, ripping them apart, and reading the dimension of the top 50 bag restriction to the United States. We've spent some time looking at this. When, they, when Firefly says clear bag policy, it doesn't actually mean that every bag that's brought into the venue has to be clear. So there are five types of bags. There are your clear backpacks. There are your fanny packs. You have your hydration packs. You have like a small clutch, which maybe you might put on a wrist or something. And you have a Ziploc bag. Of those, only the small backpack and the Ziploc bag would need to be clear. Fanny packs can have colors and patterns. Hydration packs do not need to be clear. And a small clutch doesn't need to be clear. The reason that they call it a small clear bag policy is because they consider the backpack the thing that most people are bringing into the venue. Most people are actually bringing in a fanny pack or hydration pack. So don't worry, your backpack needs to be clear, but a hydration pack doesn't need to be. So let's break that down a little bit. So for example, Again, I have a lot of bags just lying around, so I'm going to show you today. So for example, here is my Under Armour backpack. This is a you know 24 inch tall bag. This is not going to get into Firefly. However, if we take this away and we come up with a bag that's less than 20 inches tall by 15 inches wide or nine inches deep, then you actually have the ability to bring it in provided it's clear. You can find these on Amazon, you can find these at your local Spencer, you can find these bags anywhere. However, there's a couple risks that you should be that you should be aware of. Number one, they're really easy to steal from. A pickpocket can see where your phone or wallet is, take a little razor and slice the bottom of the bag. This is a real risk. Up to one in seven people can get pickpocketed at a music festival. Stay warned. Now, now that we've talked about the clear backpacks and the risk around that, let's move on to fanny packs. Fanny packs are awesome. They're easy, strapped around your waist, but the one downside of a fanny pack is that they don't have any hydration. You can bring in a water bottle and you can go buy bottles over and over from the venue, but you're either going to spend a lot of money, you're gonna be carrying a lot of water weight around your waist, which isn't a great place to have it, or you're gonna have a fanny pack with no water. It's kind of a, it's kind of a, a big issue. So, to a quick recap, Fanny packs are great, they get in, don't need to be clear. Clear backpacks, you can get basically anywhere, but they're very easy to steal from and not super comfortable, which brings us to hydration packs. Now, over here at Lunchbox, we love to build amazing hydration packs, but we're not gonna talk about our stuff right now. There are different types of rules around hydration packs and how they get into a festival. Specifically with, with Firefly, the new rule is that a hydration pack must have one dedicated water compartment and up to two maximum compartments for your other items. So that means that a Camelback, which is super small like this, which only has a pocket for the water, will get into the festival without issue. However, on the other side of that, a Camelback Octane 10, which, which, which is what I have, at least before we started Lunchbox, this is actually has three pockets in addition to the water pocket. This won't get in. So it's really, it's vitally important that you know what will and won't work, especially before you go rely on a bag for 12 hours a day, three days in a row after Firefly. Now, the thing about the hydration packs is that we took a look at the top 50 festivals in the United States to figure out what was the biggest hydration pack we could build under these rules with the rule of one, one max hydration pocket and one max item pocket, we actually designed the lunchbox, which is the, the biggest possible hydration pack that you can bring in to a festival. It's anti-theft, it has phone pockets and sunglasses pockets, it has a patented speed refill so you don't have to wait in water lines anymore, and best of all, you have interchangeable panels. So if you want your bag to look different from day to day of the festival, not a problem. Just Put on a different skin design and you're good to go. EL wire, five layer mesh so it doesn't shave. This is the best bag in the market and you can bring in hydration packs that are up to 20 inches tall, 15 inches wide, and nine inches deep into this festival. Let's move on to the small clutch. 
A small clutch can be up to 4.5 inches tall and 5.5 inches wide. This is for your wallet, your phone, the easy stuff. If you like to travel light, you don't care about hydration, and you don't care about having your friend easily being able to find you as a result of your bag, the small clutch is just for you. Now the last thing that Firefly is gonna let you bring in is a Ziploc bag, a one gallon Ziploc bag. If you feel like you wanna have a pocket full of your items and, have it and put it in a Ziploc bag, be my guest. I would not recommend this. Ziploc bags get lost, they can get yanked, they can get torn. It's just gonna get in the way. If you're gonna do Firefly this year, either go cheap with the clear PVC bag, which you can get anywhere, get a, like a, an inexpensive fanny pack, but realize that you're not gonna have a lot of ability to re rehydrate, or get a hydration pack that perfectly fits the rules of one hydration compartment and two main compartments. Again, a lunchbox has one main compartment and, shockingly enough, one insulated water compartment. And that's it. So when you can follow these rules like very easily, you'll get through security without a problem. Check the rules, understand what a clear bag policy means, and number one, make sure that you have an amazing time at Firefly. We'll see you in Dover.